All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna look how iTunes works. And right now we're in Libsyn. I've uploaded my media. And I'm gonna come down here and click on Publish. And what that does is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL. And I'm using the Libsyn feed, but I'm actually going to put this into my WordPress site. Uh, this is kind of an older show. So I'll put that here, verify that, and I will go over and there we go. I'll go ahead and click on publish. So now it's on my website and it's actually already in my Libsyn feed. And so if I go back here to Libsyn, uh, if I go here to destinations, that is my Libsyn feed right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And just to show you that it's in the feed, I'm gonna fire up uh, Firefox. And I'll go ahead and throw that in here. I'll hit enter. And you'll see that here, the last episode is this thing about geese and Michael Phelps. That's my latest episode from August 15th. But now if I go into iTunes and I search for my show and it pulls it up, you will see that the latest episode is not about Michael Phelps. I'll click on it here. It's from August 8th about the three things your podcast needs. You're like, oh my gosh, what happened to my podcast? Well, what we're going to do here, as you can see, again, the latest one is about Michael Phelps and geese. So it looks like it's missing, but it's not. You can see here's the one that we see, the one from the week before about the three things your podcast needs. Now it takes 24 hours for your listing to show up here in iTunes. So don't panic when you see this. And if you're like, but Dave, where do you get this? It takes 24 hours. Well, let me show you. Here we go to, a. Uh, this is actual Apple's website. And down here, I'm going to click on this about why doesn't it show up. And you can see here, iTunes store takes up to 24 hours to show new episodes once you add them to your RSS feed. So that is an Apple spec. So again, don't panic. Your episode is really here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on subscribe. And when you do this, you get instant access to your RSS feed. So here I clicked on that. I'm going to go up here and click on my podcast. And you'll see here's right. There's the my the three things. But now and what we're looking for is the episode about Michael Phelps. So when I click on subscribe, which I've done, I go to my podcast. And now when I go to school of podcasting, there it is. What podcasters can learn from geese Ringo Stein. So it's the latest episode. Now, if that wasn't there, all I have to do is right click and choose refresh podcast. And that new episode would show up, but we didn't really need to do that. Now here over in the iTunes store, it's showing that it's not there, but as soon as you subscribe, there it is. Now, one thing you can do here, just explain why does it get the feed? I'm going to open up a new notepad here and I'm going to come over and right click and choose Copy the podcast URL. Show me what iTunes is looking at, and you will see. I'll bring up my notepad again, and when I right-click and choose Paste, it's looking at my Libsyn feed. We saw where the episode was in the feed, and that's why when people subscribe to your show, they get the latest episode immediately. It takes 24 hours for it to show up in the iTunes store, but your subscribers get it immediately. So don't panic when this happens.